Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a manga collection tour for the year of 2021. Before we get into the details of my actual manga collection, I thought I'd show you guys my shelf. Here's what my shelf looks like. It is an Amazon One Space, I believe, Essential Shelf, I believe is what it's titled. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Located next to my bookshelf over here is an Ikea storage thing. I don't know the exact name of it, but I'll leave a link to it down below in the description box. This is what I used to store my manga collection in before, before I got this new shelf. And it is now where I currently store or house my manga that I've run out of space for on my new shelf. So yeah. Starting off with my first shelf, we have my Haikyuu shelf. And as I said, it's just all Haikyuu manga. I have almost all of the manga except for volume 19. Um, I received volume 19 in Japanese as a gift, but I'm missing volume 19 in English, as you guys can see by the gap between 18 and 20. Sadly, it's out of stock, but yeah, I've been collecting this series for a long time. It was one of the first series that really got me into manga collecting, and I really enjoy it. Haikyuu is a great beginner series especially on the Shonen Jump line. In my opinion, it's what helped me get into manga and I recommend it for anybody who is trying to get into manga. Um, it's, for me, it's really an inspiring series and really just gets me hyped when I'm reading it or watching the anime. I really like seeing the main character, Hinata, overcome the challenges of his height in the volleyball game, which he loves so much to accomplish his dreams. It's really inspiring and it makes me wanna go out and do volleyball and just sports in general so yeah I really enjoyed the series and I highly recommend it even though it's a little bit longer um the anime is fantastic as well so if you don't have an opportunity to pick up the manga I suggest you watch the anime. On the shelf I also have the smaller Haikyuu art book over here it has a really beautiful foil cover and yeah. Next up in my collection is Bleach. I have volumes 1 to 21. I recently purchased the box set from Barnes & Noble, as you guys saw in my last video. And um, I originally picked this series up because I've been wanting a box set for a while. And with the um, new anime, like the revamped anime coming out, I had to pick it up. I watched the anime and I've just gotten recently started into the manga. I'm only a few volumes in and it is fantastic. I will say I really like reading the manga and watching the anime because you get to see the differences between the original manga and the anime, which I really enjoy. I also think this is a great series for people that are more into like action series. How it differs from Haikyuu is that this is more of a supernatural series, but it once again focuses on a high schooler named Ichigo Kurosaki and his adventures into this soul arc society or to this soul society and he gets powers and it's really cool and I like to see his development and his growth throughout the series. On top of it, I have the little guidebook that came with it. The next series in my collection is an old shonen sports series, Eye Shield 21. Once again, another anime that I watched and I absolutely loved, so of course I had to pick up the manga. As you guys will see throughout this video in my collection, I'm a really big sports fan. Uh, the sports genre is one of my favorite all-time genres for manga and anime. It's so exciting. I really love to see the exciting twist that a lot of mangakas put on sports, everyday sports. They really make it look interesting. I Shield 21 is about a kid who gets bullied and is pretty scrawny. Um, but over the years of bullying, he's began to learn how to run really fast to get away from these bullies. And then he gets recruited by his school's kind of loser or like losing football team. Um, but he doesn't want to be discovered, so he wears this green tinted eye shield. And his um, jersey number is 21, so he's known as Ice Shield 21. Yeah, it's a really great comedy series and I highly recommend it. I have volumes 2, and then I have 5 through 11 and 13. Here's one of my favorite covers. It is such an awesome cover. I just really like the art style of this manga too. It's quite fun and I just like the diverse art styles and looks of the various characters. Volumes 1, 3, and 4 are incredibly hard to find sadly, so I hope I can find them for a decent price in the future. Um, the series is quite a long one, so yeah. The next series I have is Spy Family Volumes 1 through 6, which is currently all there is out. 
this series is such a funny slice of life with a little bit of action, a little bit of romance, and a lot of comedy. It's all mixed into one, and it's such a great balance of all of those. I really enjoyed it. This is actually the series that really got me into manga and collecting manga and reading manga. I saw it recommended to me all over Instagram and YouTube, so I had to go pick it up. At the time, there was only volumes one and two that were out, and it was so good. I had to keep reading, and here I am. I highly recommend this series for beginners. It's short so far, there's only six volumes out, so it's very easy to catch up to the series. And they're also gonna be coming up with an anime soon, so I'm excited to watch that. On my shelf for decoration, I have this Itachi Petite Chara minifigure from a blind box I got a while ago. He's so cute and he has this little Susano in the background. And then I have an Itachi Uchiha Nendoroid I got for Christmas. Behind my two Itachi figures, I have the new up-and-coming series, Mao, written by the famous and infamous Rumiko Takahashi, who also is the mangaka responsible for the well-known series Inuyasha. Mao follows the story of a young girl who goes back to the 20th century, where she meets this exorcist named Mao, who was cursed by the cat demon. Um, yeah, it's a very great series. I really like it so far with the two volumes that I left out on. Um, volume 1 was a little bit slow at first for me, but Volume 2 uh, it really picked up and it left on a very exciting cliffhanger, and I can't wait to pick up the next volume. Above those volumes sitting on top, I have a few random volumes of My Hero Academia. I don't really collect the series religiously, I just enjoy the anime, and I pick up some of the covers that I do enjoy. My favorite covers that are out right now are 25 and 29. They're such great covers, and I'm excited for Volume 30 to come out with the cover of Dobby. Here are my two favorite covers if you guys wanted to see them up close. I don't really think My Hero Academia needs an explanation since this is one of the most famous series at the moment. It's very popular, so yeah. Um, and right next to it I have an Enmu plushie from the Demon Slayer movie. The next series in my collection I have is Hikaru no Go, which is once again another fantastic sports series, one of my all-time favorites. I'm missing like four or five volumes until I have the series complete. It ran for a total of 23 volumes and it is an old Shonen Jump series. It follows Hikaru and Sai on their journey to become the top of the Go world. It's very fascinating. Even though I don't really play Go myself, I, this series made me wanted to play. Yeah, so even though it was um, it is a very complicated game, I feel like the mangaka um, explained it very well. If you guys like Death Note, this is done by the same artist, Takashi Obata, so that's a cool thing as well. In front of the Hikaru no Go series, I have this little Takamichi acrylic stand from Tokyo Avengers. He's, um, this is like a little beach one, and he's wearing these little sunglasses and it's really funny, so yeah. The next series I have in my collection is one of my all-time favorites that is currently serializing, and that is Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone is such an amazing Shonen Jump series that is currently running. As I said before, it has also a fantastic anime. I really enjoy the unique premise of it, about it being about science and chemistry and engineering. I found this to be quite an interesting topic, and so of course I had to start reading it, and once I did, I was instantly hooked. As you guys can see, I have the majority of the series. I'm only missing volume 5, sadly, so I cannot continue in the series. And I'm also missing volumes 11 and 12, but hopefully I can get them soon as I'm looking forward to reading them. In front of that, I also have these two adorable Dr. Stone acrylic stands. Look how cute they are, they're so cute. Yeah, I got these at Kinokuniya. And I forgot to say this, but if you guys want to see um, any of these volumes, or if you guys want to know where I got them, I have a manga haul playlist, so if you look under my playlist section, you guys can sift through those, and I basically say where I get my manga volumes from, so yeah. The last series I have on the shelf is Given. It is one of my favorite series. I absolutely adore the anime and the movie. Sadly, I've not been able to read the manga yet, as you guys can see. I'm still missing volume one. Um, besides that, I have all of them. It's just it's been out of stock for the longest time, but it finally came in stock on the Barnes & Noble and Amazon website, so I'm going to have to pick it up. If you guys do not know, Given is about this band forming and the main character, Mafuyu, trying to get over the death of his ex-boyfriend and falling in love with the guitarist of the band that they're creating. So yeah, it's a really sweet and adorable series, 
and I really love the characters. They're all so adorable, so I highly recommend it if you guys want a nice read. On to my next shelf. If I just move this font out of the way, I have almost all of GTO. I have volumes 1 to 12, 14 through 17, and then 20 through 24. I'm only missing volumes 13, um, 18, 19, and then 25. I picked the series up a while ago on Facebook Marketplace. If you guys want to see the haul for this video, go check out my April manga haul videos when I believe I picked this up. Yeah, it was such a great deal to get it only for $50 could not believe my eyes so this is one of the pride and joys in my collection as I am so proud that I have most of this series. Above GTO and I guess next to it I have the volumes of Tokyo Avengers I currently have. I have a few of my favorite covers like volume 23 with Hanma. Hanma is my favorite character from Tokyo Avengers. I absolutely adore the anime and I'm excited for the English printing. I have read the online scans of the manga and I as I said before, I cannot wait for the English printing. I have the newest volume here of Draken, and I absolutely love his outfit. It looks so good, as you guys have seen in my most recent manga video. I also have both of the um, stats, or like character book, and or like the fan book, and then I also have the TV guidebook here as well. If you guys had to get one, I highly recommend the TV guidebook. It has color images, and it's very well done. In front of it, I have a Kazutora and a Mitsuya acrylic stand I got from Kino Kunia. If you guys are wondering what the series is about, um, it's another really popular series, but it's about this guy, Takamichi, whose girlfriend ends up dying, and he gets the opportunity to go back in time and fix the whole issues that would cause his girlfriend to die, which involved this Tokyo Manji gang. So yeah, it's kind of really hard to explain in a sentence like that, but I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's a great action series, so yeah. Next is the very popular Jujutsu Kaisen series. I have all of the volumes that are currently out, which is volume 0 to 13. All of the volumes are here, they're just stacked behind. Yeah, this series is a great Shonen Jump currently serializing series. It's one of the most popular series currently alongside of Chainsaw Man, and it follows this kid, Itadori Yuji, who is this little plushie here and his adventure of discovering these curses and trying to defeat them alongside with these other two students he goes to school with at the Special Curses High School. So yeah, it's a very interesting series and I highly recommend it. It's a very easy series to understand and it's a great like intermediate series. Um, above it here I have the fan book and then next to it I just have these two random rubber straps that I got and I don't know where to put them so they're just chilling there next to my Jesus Kaisen stuff. Oh my goodness I cannot say it. Lastly for this shelf I have my Jojo's Bizarre Adventure collection. I only have a part two. Part two is indeed my favorite part so I have the complete set volumes one through four. I highly recommend Jojo's Bizarre Adventure in case you guys do not know. I am a giant fan of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I have so much merch it is insane. Um, but yeah, in front of it, I have my little Joseph Joestar Nendroid I received from Christmas from my grandparents, so yeah. Um, yeah, I highly recommend JoJo's. It is quite a complicated series. I I would try to explain it, but I, I can't really. <laughs> um, if you have read or watched JoJo's, you would understand what I mean when I say I, I can't explain it. I mean, testosterone? <laughs> I mean, that's all I can think to explain it. But yeah, I recommend watching the anime. The manga is good to read online, in my opinion, but these volumes do get pretty bulky and pricey, running at $20 a volume. So unless you have the proper space and funds to get all these volumes and you really want to collect them all, um, I think watching the anime is the best way to go. Or just reading online scans. Okay, so I'm trying to get this at a good angle, but it's hard to get my tripod to reach this slow. But the next shelf here I have is Banana Fish. Um, in front of my banana fish manga, I have a few acrylic stands, um, of Shorter, Ash, AG, and another Ash, as well as this banana fish official guide rebirth book, um, that you guys would have seen if you guys watched my newest video before this. So yeah, behind it, I have my banana fish manga. I have volumes one to 12, and then I have 15 and 19. I've been collecting this manga for a while and I absolutely adore this series. It's about, it takes place in New York and it's about gangs and whatnot. And I really, really enjoy this series from the bottom of my heart. Sadly, the manga is impossible to collect for the most volumes. 
um, like volumes 13, 14, and then volumes 16 through 18. I look for them on like Mercari or other used websites and they're like 100 or 200 dollars a volume and they're actually selling. So I'm just gonna wait till they um, reprint them because I don't plan on paying 200 dollars for one volume of manga. <laughs> so yeah. Next to Banana Fish, I have the infamous Chainsaw Man. I have all the volumes that are currently out, which is volumes 1 through 8. Um, they are done with part 1 in Japanese, which runs to 11 volumes, but so far in English, they have only printed volumes 1 through 8. And I'm really enjoying the series. I've been collecting it since ever since volume 1 first came out, which was back in September when I first started collecting. And yeah, I really enjoy the series, and it's about this guy named Denji who was really got in trouble with like the wrong sort of people and debt collectors. He ended up getting used and killed and his demon dog Puchita ended up sacrificing their life and giving him their heart and long story short he ended up becoming this chainsaw devil and he joins this agency of devil hunters and he becomes like one of their pets I guess you could say um, in a sense and he goes out and hunts these other devils. So yeah. Next to it I have Kaiji number eight, a series that I've been really 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 excited to read. I still have not read this volume but I am so excited to read this. It seems right up my alley. It seems like it's a mash. So far from what I've like read from the back it seems like it's a mash between Chainsaw Man and solo leveling in a sense with like a dash of Jujutsu Kaisen I think. But I'm really excited to check it out and I cannot wait to read it. It is so exciting. Sadly, the next volume comes out in like April or something. I don't know what it is with these um, with these series and taking so long to come out with the newest volume. But yeah, I'm so excited. Next, I have Blue Flag, volumes 1 through 4. Um, I have half of the series in total. There's a total of 8 volumes. I have, in fact, read them all online scans back in January of 2020. Um, but then, of course, I had to pick up the first few volumes of manga. Sadly, um, the um, majority of the volumes have been very much out of stock and only volume 8 has been in stock so I haven't really finished collecting the physicals as I've already read it and I don't really have much of a desire to continue but um, this is a fantastic series. I cannot recommend the series enough. It is such an adorable series. It's a slice of life romance series about a love triangle between two guys and one girl. Here's the cover and these, this guy and this girl both like him and it's kind of like the adventures of their lives through high school. It is such a beautiful representation of the LGBTQ community and I feel like navigating it like early on in your youth and I really appreciate how just amazing this series captures it all and I think it is such a fantastic series and I highly recommend everybody pick it up. It is so good. Even if you're like me and you're not a big romance fan, this series is just too good not to read. Next up I have the first three volumes out of A Sign of Affection which is currently all that is out um, and I highly recommend the series. Another <laughs> fantastic romance series. As I said before in the previous clip I'm not a big shoujo fan but this series is too adorable not to love. It follows this deaf girl and this hearing boy and how they fall in love and it's so cute and the spines are so cute and the art is so cute and it's just all so cute and I so just, I recommend everybody check it out. Then I have Blue Period volumes 1 through 5. This series is a great art series as well as the LGBTQ series. It is, has such a great um, manga. I really loved, similar to Dr. Stone, its unique concepts of how the series focuses on art, which I don't think any other series I've read has. I really enjoyed that concept of it, as well as this boy discovering his passion in life. Um, I really enjoy watching his adventure of like his self-discovery and his journey through his self-discovery. And I think it's just another not really good and good feeling and very inspiring series. I recommend it. Um, there's currently an anime out on Netflix, so I recommend everybody go watch it. Yeah. Next, I have Hell's Paradise, volumes 1 and 4, volumes 2 and 3 and 5, and well, most of the volumes are impossible to find right now. But this series I have an utter addiction to. Like, an utter addiction. It's a problem. 
I literally read the first volume and I have never felt so strongly about a series as I can to say this. This series is amazing. If you guys have seen my entire collection and you guys need to get one series, Hell's Paradise is the one to get. Let me tell you, it is so good. Oh my goodness. Hell's Paradise follows this assassin that gets captured by the government and all these samurais and he is forced to go on this expedition to this island of paradise to capture this elixir of eternal youth or immortality but there's one catch this island is no paradise as a matter of fact it's quite dangerous and um, each criminal that is sent along is also sent with an accompanying samurai that is to execute them if they do one wrong move or try to escape the next series I have on the shelf is Kaiji Volumes 1 and 2. Kaiji is a fantastic manga series I highly recommend. Um, I've so far gotten into Volume 1, but I originally found out the series through Akagi. Akagi is an amazing anime I highly recommend. Um, it's about gambling, so is Kaiji. And yeah, um, this series has an anime and I still have to watch it. But yeah, if you guys want a good anime, I recommend Akagi, and a good manga is Kaiji. They don't print Akagi in English, so I got Kaiji. Now onto this Cubic Bookshelf. The first thing I have in this first cubby are just two random volumes of Black Bolt Volume 1 and Eyes Volume 15, of which I want to sell. I just still have to list them, but yeah. These next uh, few, this next two shelves, I'm just going to brush through since they're pretty random and yeah but I'll just give you guys like the genre and if I have a few volumes about them then I'll guess I'll tell you what they're about. The first series I have is Soma Spider So What. It's about this girl who her and her entire class get killed and they get reincarnated in this fantasy world and they're all like humans and mythical creatures and princesses and elves and she got reincarnated as a spider. But she makes the best of it, and I love that. This is a light novel series, a manga series, and an anime, so I highly recommend you guys check all of them out. Then I have Hora Mia Volume 1, which is a romance series. Next to it, I have Hatsuhara Volumes 1 through 3, another romance series. Next to it, I have one of my all-time favorite series, top three series of all time, and a manga. All of them, top favorite, fabulous anime, fabulous manga, and that is Kurocha, or Kuromo no Omacha. And I only have volumes 4 and 6, there's 10 volumes total, and they're very hard to find and very expensive, but my goal is to collect all of them, so yeah. Next, I have volumes 2, 3, and 7 of Marmalade Boy, the series has a total of 8 volumes, and it is another romance series. Then I have another series next to it, which is Love Calm, I have volumes 1 to 3, 6, and 12. Love Calm is a romance series about a tall girl and a short boy. Then I have Beauty Pop, which is a shoujo beat romance series about hair cutting and beauty and makeovers, so yeah. Lastly on this shelf, I have Punch, Volumes 1 and 2, which is another shoujo series about boxing. And it's a three-volume series, um, I just need to get Volume 3 and then we'll have it completed. Yeah. This shelf is butt ugly, but I'm gonna do a quick run through. First off, I have So Leveling, Volume 1. I absolutely adore So Leveling. It is such a great manhwa. It is my favorite manhwa, if I dare say. Um, I know there are three volumes out, I just have been super lazy in collecting them, and they're like 20 bucks a volume, so I've been a little bit hesitant, but I really need to catch up. Then I have My Hero Academia Vigilantes, volumes 1 and 2, and that's just similar to My Hero, it's another spinoff. Then I have Mars Volume 2, another fantastic shoujo series I read online. Um, sadly, the volumes are impossibly hard to find right now, so I only have volume 2. Then I have Go For Nakamura, which is a really adorable romance BL series, or a Shonen Ai series, and it is only a one-shot, so it's only the one volume, which is nice. Next, I have Dream and Sun next to it, which is a shoujo series. A lot of people recommended it. I tried to get into it, but it was really not my thing, so I only have volume one. And it's by the same mangaka that did Orange, I believe, so yeah. Um, my goodness. Next to it, I have this random Naruto omnibus. It's quite damaged. I love Naruto, but the manga is... I don't know if I want to collect it because it's really long, and this manga omnibus is horrific. Um, but this is my favorite... This is volumes where my two favorite characters die. We have Jirai and Itachi. Both die in this one volume, so... Lovely. Then I have Happy Also High, Volume 2, a random shoujo series um, that I really just need to continue collecting. This spine is atrocious, though. Like... <laughs> I don't know why someone thought that this black and red 
plaid with this green accent would be a good idea but it's not um then i have my boyfriend is vampire volumes it's an omnibus 13 14 published by seven seas and done and it's written and illustrated by Han Rong, one of my favorite manhwa artists of all time my favorite series from them is um boy of a female wolf um i highly recommend it if you guys want to go watch their series it's a lot of like gender bends and a lot of like tough female leads that can fight and it's really cool so i highly recommend the series even though this well, i highly recommend the author even though this series is a little bit odd so yeah then I have Banana Fish, Volumes 11 and 12 in Japanese, Case Closed, Volume 1 in Japanese, or Detective Conan, depending on whatever you call them. And then lastly, I have Comey Can't Communicate, Volume 1. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I apologize for the poor lighting. It's quite late at night now. Um, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this manga collection video. If you guys have any video ideas or questions, don't feel afraid to comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.